the book of Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory that's definitely due to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rekah Kradash. I'm from the Prophets in Babylon out of the Waco, Texas camp, affiliated with the branch of Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Atiyah. I'd like to give a special double honors to the elders and apostles on down at Great Millstone, those fine, sincere brothers who teach well and who rule well and are great examples to us brothers out here, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Lesson for today. Um, the foolishness of Jake. And yeah, I decided to do this video because uh, I was in the chat earlier and a brother put up a... a, a, a a post saying that this this Jake took a you know had a, a pig pig valve inserted into his body and he ended up passing away two months later afterwards you know so it just shows you the foolishness of Jake you know um at the end of the day you know Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has given us laws to to stay away from swine you know, so let's get it right quick. It's here in uh, Leviticus. Le Leviticus, the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7 and 8. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you means he can't be ate uh, eaten of their flesh shall ye, ye not eat and their carcass shall ye not touch they are unclean to you so we're not supposed to be eating these eating swine nor touching swine you know let alone have it inserted into your body, you know, and, you know, he ended up dying and that was this judgment, you know. Um, you know, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai giving us laws to, to follow by, you know, and as a result of him not following those laws, he ended up dying, you know. But that's the foolishness of Jake, you know. Um, there was another scripture I was thinking here. Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish, meaning sottish children, meaning stupid. And they have not none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah. So these laws and or you know these laws and statutes, statutes and commandments, they're for our uh, benefit. You know, it's a uh, a navigation to our life. You know how to live a life. You know how to live our lives. You know what I'm saying. And you may ask, you know, why, you know, we have these laws. Here it is. We'll go into it. Book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You know, and uh, so being that we are the chosen people, you know, um, 
the 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 Negro, the 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 so-called Latino and the so-called Indian, you know, those are the chosen people of of, of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, and He's given us laws to follow by, you know. But at the end of the day, you have a lot of Jakes out there who don't follow these laws. So let's go back to that. See these laws. It's what keep us holy unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We're special people unto him. So he gave us laws. These laws are not meant for the other nations, you know. Um, let me see, go into it. Uh, just to back up. So you got these jakes out here who eat swine, you know, and all these other abominable things, you know, not realizing that, you know, that they're special people unto the, the heavenly father. And then if you tell them, they still going to go out and still go look for pork and what have you, right? Hosea chapter four and verse six, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. You know, meaning that, you know, you can, you know, the prophets are out there on the scene telling them how to live, their, how they should live their life through the scriptures, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, but they reject that knowledge, right? So this is what Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah says. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, and seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Yeah, so... You know, uh, at the end of the day, these who, who reject this, this truth and knowledge, you know, these laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, the Lord's going to reject them, you know. And this is one of the reasons why that man ended up dying, because he was foolish. He took, you know, to have a, a, a pig valve inserted into him, you know. But th that's, you know, that's Jake for you. He... he 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 learns the ways of the heathen, you know. Learning the ways of the heathen can get you killed. Job chapter 13, verse 4. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Yeah. So, you know, Esau is a forger of lies, you know. Everything he's he, he, you know, scriptures tell you that, you know, um, he's, he's born, once he come out of the womb, he, he begins speaking lies, you know? And these physicians, especially over here, they have no value, you know? That, that you know, telling the, well, you, you can, you can still live and get this, this pig valve inserted into you. No, nah, man, you know, you're going against the laws and statutes of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man, you know? This thing shouldn't be consumed, meaning eaten, let alone be touched. This is all a part of being the special people unto the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. These laws is what makes us stand out, you know, following them to the best of your ability, of course. You know, we're in the flesh, you know. But uh, but yeah, we we want to follow the these laws to the best of our ability. The book of Psalms, chapter one forty seven, verse verse nineteen, he sheweth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah, so, you know, um, these laws and statutes were uh, um, meant for the nation of Israel. But at the end of the day, you know, and, and, and um, further, 
Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is not dealing with no other nation. See, these 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 laws and statutes are for Israel only. This is what makes Israel stand out, you know, and, and as well as be a chosen people unto the heavenly Father, like it said in in, in uh, uh, um, Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six. But at the end of the day, you know, you got a lot of Jakes out there that's foolish and they don't they they reject this knowledge and this this truth. And that's why when 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 Jacob's trouble and and, and you know all the other things that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is gonna bring up on this this side of the earth come, those people are not gonna be are gonna be destroyed, man. Those Israelites are gonna be destroyed, you know, which represents the two thirds. So. Lord willing, I hope this was an edifying lesson to you brothers and you two sisters out here. And once again, I'd like to say, um, give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakradash. Special double honors to the elders and apostles on down at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Until the next time, Lord willing, I say Shalom.